What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Yesterday on May 15th, Juicy J released his latest project titled Gas Face. It was 10 tracks. It featured Lil Wayne. It had Chris Brown, Quavo, and uh, a couple other guests on it. The mixtape pretty much served as a prequel for his upcoming album that will be out sometime in 2017. He wouldn't tell us on the mixtape uh, when it was coming out, but it is coming out. As I'm listening to the mixtape, I feel like I've just heard this music before. And this is a feeling that I've had for a while. So it led me to ask the question, is Juicy J becoming stale? In order to really talk about that question, you kind of have to go back to when he broke out as a solo artist. Around 2011 and 2012, when he came out with Rubber Band Business 2, uh, featuring Lex Luger producing the entire mixtape. Like, that really was like the moment that Juicy J started to uh, have this huge buzz on the internet. Obviously, he was already a legend at that point, having done everything... Uh, as a group with 3-6 Mafia, but this was the first time that we're actually seeing him achieve solo success. He put out an album, Stay Trippy, it did well. He's put out countless mixtapes, but Rubber Band Business 2 really sounded like Juicy J was so inspired. It felt fresh, and I think a good part of that was that uh, him and Lex Luger were a match made in heaven. Everybody at that point in that year uh, was having Lex Luger on their hit singles. You know, Rick Ross had BMF and uh, he had another single as well. Um, so everybody wanted to seek out Lex Luger. And to date, Juicy J is the most significant person to work with Lex Luger on a grander scale because he had him produce this entire mixtape. And they just sounded great together. You got more Lex Luger, which everybody was clamoring for. And then you got Juicy J dropping songs like Who the Neighbors, A Zip in a Double Cup, Paid For, Introduced, and like 20 other songs that were on that mixtape. That was that moment where Juicy J was about to make history. What you have to take into account about Juicy J in those days was that there wasn't many rappers doing what he was doing. You had your trap rappers, you had a Future and 2 Chains, Waka Flocka, Chief Keef, and a few others, but it's nothing like what it is today. Today, you have so many different rappers to the point that being labeled a SoundCloud rapper is almost like a genre. You know, you have so many rappers that use the 808s, the trap sound, and they rap about doing drugs being with women for one night, like all these different topics that Juicy J was doing long before these rappers probably stepped into a booth. And now it's just everywhere. So I think that is one uh, aspect of why I feel like Juicy J is becoming stale. He might have done a lot for hip hop and everything, but now it's like there's just so much of the same going around to the point that Juicy J kind of gets lost in the fold. Another reason why he could be feeling uh, stale, in my opinion, is that when he did drop his first couple mixtapes uh, where he started to see that solo buzz, there wasn't like an abundance of his solo work. So he was still trying to shape who he was as a solo artist. That's not to say that it was a huge departure from what he was doing and rapping about with 3-6 Mafia, but he did have to go out and discover a new sound, you know, production-wise. He was able to figure out what fans want from him. And when you do that, it becomes a gift and a curse. It's a gift because now you have this buzz. Now you can go on tour, you're getting, uh, you know, record deals, and you're just making more money now. But on the, the curse side of it is that now you're being put into a box. Juicy J is labeled like that ratchet turn up guy, in, in a sense. That's the, the type of music that he makes. And it's hard for someone to want to break out of that. And granted, Juicy J does not seem like somebody who's mad at being labeled a certain rapper. No, he owns that. My point being is that he made hot songs and then continued to duplicate that formula over and over again. And that, to me, is where being stale comes in. 
it's the fact that there's just so many rappers nowadays that sound similar going in that similar lane and the fact that Juicy J has been doing it for the last four or five years and not even uh, at a slow rate. It feels like Juicy J is dropping a mixtape every like six months or so. And if he's not, then he's dropping like a collaboration album with TM88 and Wiz Khalifa or he's appearing on a Taylor Gang mixtape all over the, the track listing. Like there's never a shortage of Juicy J music and I think that is an issue as well. If he were to put out an album and then wait two years, wait two years or something, I don't think we would have this issue because it wouldn't be, um, there wouldn't be as much music out there. When you have so much music out there that starts to, you know, follow that same formula, it starts to just get repetitive to the point that it's like, okay, there's a new mixtape, I gotta check it out, listen once or twice, and then that's pretty much it. That's how I feel about Gas Face. Like, most of those songs, they just feel like they're rehashed. Um, none of the beats really stand out, except for the last track, I'm So North Memphis. That one is good. Which leads me to my, uh, my last question. My question that I proposed to you guys, and I'm going to try to answer it myself. What can Juicy J do at this point to separate him from everybody else? I think it's a tough question because like I mentioned earlier, Juicy J doesn't seem like he wants to uh, do anything new. And that's fine because in this generation, I've learned that if I don't like something, if it sounds stale to me, if uh, you have all these different rappers that sound similar, there's so many people out there that like it. I logged on to uh, KTT, which is a very huge music forum. And I was going through one of the threads about Juicy J's new mixtape and a lot of people were enjoying it. They said, this is fire, they like this song, they like that song. And so I get it. But me, from a personal standpoint, I feel as though Juicy J's music has just become a little bit stale. Scratch that. I actually feel like it's just full-blown stale at this point. And so what can he do to separate himself? I think one idea would be to... Uh, get a different production. Now, Juicy J doesn't need to switch up his subject matter because he still goes in on the subject matters that he does uh, put out on these songs. But I feel like the production, if you can have production that sounds different, that's still uh, satisfied, that still can be classified as like a banger, then that would probably help. I think a good example of that was the only song on Gas Face that I enjoyed, which was I'm From North Memphis, or I'm So North Memphis. That one sounded like some vintage 3-6 Mafia. And if we never get another 3-6 Mafia album again, that'll be fine. They did so much already. But I think Juicy can learn from that era and kind of go in that direction, have more sounds that sound like they were in that era. Because you don't hear many people going for that, uh, that, you know, that southern Memphis sound. You don't have many rappers doing that, if any, to be honest. And so that's why I think that is one idea. Ultimately, it's a hard question. And you might have watched this video and said, well, I don't think Juicy J is stale. I still love everything he puts out. And that is perfectly fine. I am just one man with an opinion. I'm just one person who is sharing his point of view on rap. And if you have a different one, I would love to hear from you. If you don't feel like Juicy J is sounding stale, please let me know in the comment section. Let's have a discussion because I'm always interested to hear different perspectives. Um, and if you do feel like he's stale, what do you think he can do at this point to uh, separate himself from everybody else? So talk to me in the comment section below, then like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace.